Hello guys, welcome to Ludwig Microcontrollers. In this video, I am going to show you how to interface a joystick module with a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. So let's get started. As usual, we have our PIC here. Now we have this cheap joystick module. You can buy it from anywhere online or from any uh, electronics shop. So here we have 5 pins. If you hold it like this, the bottom one is a ground, the top one above that is 5 volt, then we have ADC X axis, then we have ADC pin Y axis for Y axis and then we have a normal push button. To make connection with the pig we go as follow. Ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt, X axis to any ADC channel, so I am using pin A0 that is channel number 0 and for Y axis I am using 1 that is A1, ADC pin A1. In this video I am going to make a small mini project for you which you can follow as an example anywhere and you can use it for control of robots as well. I am going to do is that I am going to take 16 LEDs, one LED I will connect to pin number C6, then B6, then B5, B4, another LED D7, D6, D5, D4, C5, C4, D3, D2. Then I am connect another LED with B3, B2, B1 and B0. They are 16 LEDs in this formation. So what happens when I move the joystick little bit left, pin number B4, LED turns on. When I move it further left, the other LED turns on. The more left I go, then three LEDs turn on. Then the extreme left is all four LEDs. So little bit, one, two, three, depending upon how much left you move it. Similarly for the right, the more harder you press, the more LEDs turn on. When you press little bit to the top, first LED turn on, further two, three, then four. Similarly at the bottom. This is a simple but very effective project. What happens is that at the basic, both X and Y ADC values lies between 505 to 530. So in the programming, we for all the LEDs to be turned off, our initial values must be these. Then when we go to the right, its value increases from 530 to 1024. And to the left, it increases from 0 to 505. In this way, we can make four steps to program the LEDs depending upon how much ADC value we give. Similarly, when we go top, 530 to 1024, bottom 50520. Now let's get to the micro C coding. Okay, here is our micro C. Go to new, new project. Any joy learning micro joystick. Okay, pick 16 f double seven day. That is what I am using 20 megahertz crystal. Okay, now first we need ADC module. As we know, this joystick works with ADC commands. So initialize the ADC modules, this command ADC INIT, paste it here, write delay MS1000 initialization delay, then you need to initialize the three ports that we are using for LEDs, that is port B, all pins of port B are output and all initial values are zero, give an initialization delay, 100 is good, all declared output port B pins and all have initial value as 0. Now do similar for the port C. Ports just make this C. There are 8 pins on port C and similarly for port D. There are 8 pins on port D. All are output and initially 0. Now let's get to the forever loop. Give the ending bracket. Okay, first as we know we are using ADC module so we have X axis so and Y axis. For x axis, initialize the variable any name. I am using x axis. For y axis, initialize another variable y axis to store the ADC values. These will store the ADC values coming from the joystick. Now, to read the ADC values, you use this command. This command ADC read. Now, how to use it? Just place it here. Oh, sorry, forgot to copy it. You copy it, place it here. Replace this by your variable x axis. x axis will store the value coming from pin A0. A0 is the channel 0. Here we go. Give a initialization delay. That is 100 will be good. For y axis, just change the channel and the variable y. And channel is 1. I had connected y pin to the A1 and x is 1 to the 0. x axis will store the values coming from A0. y axis from A1. Now we, we initialize or you can say program the LEDs that how they turn on when the joystick is pressed. Use if else condition if 
okay x axis is greater than we take 480 and less than x axis is less than 530 like the value as I told you is between between 505 to uh, you can say 530 so I am using less 480 to 530 no LEDs should turn on that it is at 0 neither x nor y so this is for x now for y simply copy paste it use and and y simply make this y y okay that's good give brackets okay now main bracket to close all the stuff that is necessary for micro c syntax okay here we go now give brackets what happens when joystick is not moved this condition satisfies give the initial values when joystick is not moved all the ports and LEDs must be at the initial values no LEDs sh should blink okay that's great give a delay 100 will be good okay now we program for the right uh, horizontal that is okay or we write it x axis right only right when we move joystick to the right and x axis only right else if if above is not met then copy this paste it here x axis to the right values increases from 530 to uh, 1024 so first step for first LED 532 we take it to 660 that if it is between 530 660 that the joystick is moved little bit to the right then what happens one LED turns on and the LED as shown in the presentation is C5 port C dot F5 equals to 1 delay MS 100 ok that's great now this is our first LED which will turn on when we move it to the little right now if we go further right then value will change from 662 uh, 790 ok and which LED is turned on that is C4 here we go now if we move, move further right then values changes from 790 to 920 and another LED turns on that is D dot F3 that is pin D3 LED on D3 and if we move further right that is extreme right then value is above 920 greater than 920 that will be any value greater than 920 then the fourth LED that is D2 D dot F2 turns on this is for the right now we make it for the left X X axis left ok now simply do the same you copy this or you copy simply this one else if X axis is greater than you can say 350 and less than 480 now we are decreasing the value 480 is the initial above 480 is the initial less than 480 and greater than 350 then first LED to the left turns on that is B4 port B dot F4 equals to 1 give initialization delay okay now that's great that is our first LED similarly if we move further left that is the second LED to the left of X axis our value is greater than 350 no value is less than 350 and greater than you can say 200 then we then which LED turns on that is B5 now when we move further left value changes from if greater than or if less than 200 and greater than 100 then the third LED turns on that is B6 and the last to the left that is the fourth extreme left is less than 100 less than 100 then the last LED that is C dot F6 also turns on now for the Y Y axis Y axis simply copy paste all this leaving the above initial condition copy it paste it 
now we are dealing with these variable y axis or this second one simply change x to y this will do for the y because values are same only the pin is different all you need is to change the variable we are dealing with values coming from the second pin now that is y or a1 channel here you go okay another thing we need to change the leds okay that is y y top now which which led is top the first one that is d dot f7 d dot f7 is the first one second one is d dot f6 just give them the name as in the presentation because we are using different leds d dot f5 d dot f4 now to the bottom they are b3 b2 b1 b0 b3 b2 b1 and b0 this is it this is our total code let's let's burn it and show you the hardware demonstration okay there is a little bit of error just remove them delay ms i forgot to write ms 100 okay again ms is missing again ms is missing because we just copy pasted it ms missing ms missing again ms missing ms missing okay here we go the code burned correctly now let's uh, burn it in the microcontroller and see what happens okay before that we forgot to add the final condition that is the else if none of the above is met then we should go back to the initial value and initial value is this so if none of the above is met then initial value should be initialized in this way our programming is complete ok guys here is our hardware this is our joystick let me burn the code selected file click on write ok it is burning the code ok the code is burned let me show you how it works this is the joystick I will move it see I move it little bit it turns on LEDs similarly I move it to the bottom it turns on the LEDs see I am moving it little bit further 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 similarly all other sides see it's working I press harder so it goes straight to the last one when I rotate it turns on LEDs on different sides see it will turn on LEDs on all sides it matches see I press extreme right then I press little bit see little bit then little bit when I press harder it goes straight now I press slowly see slowly it goes to the LEDs similarly the right side see it's working fine little bit see and then right then I move the other side same story see little bit and further so guys I hope you guys learned something from this video I will be very glad to hear some feedback from you if you have any problem you can simply let me know in the comment so guys see you in the next video in the future videos so have a nice day until then thank you very much for your time